music by Joe Green, a.k.a. Giuseppe Verdi, <laughs> was not written to promote air travel on Alitalia. <laughs> it wasn't even written to sell spaghetti. It's one of those choruses sung on stage by a bunch of odd-looking people dressed in frumpy costumes in that weirdest of art forms, opera, about which it used to be remarked if it ain't worth saying, say it. <laughs> that way, no one will understand the words. Of course, super titles have changed all that. And now, sometimes to our distress, we actually know what they're screaming about. <laughs> some of the chorus members tend to be tall, some short, some thin, some fat. None of them know where to move or what to do. But when they open their mouths collectively, beautiful sounds do emerge. And this piece, Va pensiero sull'ale dorate, fly thoughts on wings of gold, is among the most beautiful. It's from one of Verdi's earliest operas, Nabucco, first performed in Milan in 1842. The chorus represents Hebrew slaves in Babylon. And the text they normally sing is a paraphrase of Psalm 137. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. So, what did they remember? The Bible gives us no hint. It tells us that they sing songs of Zion and that they don't want to forget Jerusalem. Okay. So, what else? Total silence. Now, the Jews singing Verdi's chorus are a little more specific. They, at least, have some memories of Zion. They talk about hills, about the sweet breezes, warm and soft of their homeland, about the River Jordan, about the towers of Jerusalem. They remember, in short, nature and architecture. That, of course, makes them good Italians, <laughs> but hardly good Jews. <laughs> what Jew do you know who remembers the past on the basis of nature and architecture? <laughs> Not one. What, then, is the true basis of Jewish nostalgia, of Jewish memory? There can be only one answer, food. <laughs> When I think of my grandmothers of blessed memory, it is the smells and tastes that spring first to mind. Grandma Jenny specialized in homemade gefilte fish, which tasted like nothing Manischewitz could ever have imagined. <laughs> but even better were her verandas, a dish of seasoned potato mixture wrapped in dough, fried in chicken fat with onions. And don't tell me about cholesterol. Grandma Jenny was a life until her death at the age of 92, and fed Verenicus for 70 years to Grandpa Mike, who died a week later, surely from withdrawal symptoms, <laughs> at the age of 93. Grandma Eva, on the other hand, was known for her wrecked cabbage, sweet and sour in just the right proportions, not to mention her tzimis meat, flanking stewed to perfection with prunes and apricots. Now, how, I submit to you, could Verdi and his librettes, to Mr. 
Clea Soleira not have known this fundamental truth about the Jewish people. The fact is, they knew it full well. But they were forbidden to present the original text of Vapensiero to the Italian public <laughs> by the dread Austrian censors. In a moment, we will explore that history. For now, however, I want you to join me in singing Vapensiero with the original words in my English translation. As revealed in the composer's autographed manuscript in the archives of Casa Ricordi in Milan, this discovery was made possible thanks to nuclear scans of the manuscript using a technology pioneered at the branch of the University of Chicago's Medical Center on E floor of Ravenstein Library. <laughs> Ready? I'm in. 